Home to me is where the family is, where all of us gather, we spend time together and we do activities together. As long as, as a unit, we are together, right? That's where the home is. Hi, uh, my name is Gabriel. And I'm Karen. Yeah, so we are both IT professionals and we have a family of five members and my parents actually stay with us. Seven people and two dogs. And our helper, and helper yeah, yeah, in the family. Because I have a pretty big family, everybody has different needs, right? And for us to move happily, I need to be able to satisfy everybody's requirement. My kids wanted their own room with their own bathroom. You see, we stay with our parents. I think space is very important for multi-generation family to live together. My parents are also of a certain age. We need to make sure that there is either a lift in the house or at least they will be able to access the room directly. We need to park two cars, our dogs, our fish, and I was hoping I can get a pool table. That's the main thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what we did was I was searching online. Almost every night I was looking at online, different houses, different specs, mm. different locations, and drove around, look at places for a few months before we finally got this place. I mean, it's hard to be 100%, but I think it's 85, 90% of what you're really looking for. And then we fill the rest with things to make it as good as it can be. So this house is about 4750 build up, 2490 square feet land. It comes with six bedrooms and a helper room. Each room actually has a toilet as well. So everybody get their room. That's actually one of the criteria. So many houses actually, well, the land area is sizable, but when they are about 3,000 over square foot, we found that we couldn't really fit in, you know, the family having a room each. I think the house was pretty new. It's about seven years old. But the only thing is that the floor was a bit cracked and a bit discoloured. Other than that, the rest of the house is actually pretty good. But he has his requirement. He needs to fit his pool table. And because of that, we did quite a number of changes. <laughs> to be able to fit in the, the move, handing over of the house and then coming to a new place requires a lot of planning and coordination uh, with the contractors. So in terms of design, we couldn't really wait for a contractor to go through a lot of back and forth with us. So I managed to use my iPad and downloaded a actually really good software and started designing my own layout. I think that's one way to, to really customize the house to, to what you really wanted. This living area, for example, also something that is you know, our own creation. And many people have staircase and then under the staircase is used like a storeroom. So what we did was we, we made the TV console really thin so everything looks very flush and gives the living room a lot of space. Uh, but if you do that, you have a problem fitting all the consoles. So the concept is that everything is concealed underneath the staircase. Even my Xbox and PlayStations that we play, you can't actually see it at all. When you want to play with it, you just use the controller and switch on. So everything looks very sleek and concealed. Since we have a pool table, uh, we spend some time again online, P interest, try to come up concept. And we ultimately arrive at this decision to have the pool rack that actually functions as a door as well. So when you move over the, the pool rack, then it leads into where all my consoles and you know the mess. <laughs> so you wanted the living room to be an area where the family gathers. That's why a lot of things are actually here. So we intend, I mean the movie system, everything is here. So it's a place for us to watch movie and it's a place for us to play pool. And it's a place for us to relax, to enjoy the fish. Another interesting thing about this house was that uh, it has a swimming pool. Swimming pools are nice, but when you are very cold, you don't really use it, right? I wanted the pool so that my father can also exercise. I didn't want to have the pool then. And then because he says it's too cold, then he gives all sorts of excuses and then don't actually exercise, right? So I was trying to figure out how to heat up the pool. But the heat up pool is actually very expensive with heating elements and all that, right? So again, I went online and see whether there's any DIY method. So I'm very happy to say that uh, we managed to you know, have a solution where the water actually gets pumped up to this mat. And as the water goes through the mat, it gets heated by the sun and comes back into the pool. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't make the, the, entire, the pool. entire pool hot, but there is a sprout. And if you are cold, you sit under the sprout, hot water actually comes over your head. It feels like a warm shower. <laughs> we have actually a grand piano. Again, that was another headache, right? How do you fit a living room, a dining, a pool table, and a grand piano? in a space. <laughs> my son, they wanted to have it like a, an enclosed room as well. So what we did was we did, um, you know, do a partition and uh, gave them some space to be able to practice a piano. So we actually went to Australia and in the trip itself, there was this very nice 
bar counter and we sat around the bar counter and started cooking. You know, it's a, a trip with a group of friend, friends and family, right? So we really like the concept of having a bar counter. But actually the bar counter is not suitable for old folks because it's kind of high. And when you have a bar counter, you can't really sit around and have fan, family dinner. Yeah, especially Chinese New Year. So we actually spent a good at least two months and many iterations and headaches to see how to fit a bar counter and yet have a dining table. And my, my pool table was threatened many times. <laughs> So ultimately, we had a really good idea. Concept of having the dining table being slotted under the bar counter. And when we need it, we pull it out. It becomes a table that can fit everyone. It's really important to have somebody competent uh, to help you when you are looking for a place. Right? I think for most people, you need to be able to sell and then you need to buy. Nick was really different. Right? Over the years, we have tried to sell our other places before. And we have a lot of people who come and see, but they don't materialize. But Nick did something different with us, right? He, he taught us how to declutter our house. We had to move a lot of things and pass them to my sister. And uh, how to make our house more attractive and, you know, uh, more palatable to potential buyers. I think that was really the big difference. We find that it's actually pretty professional. From the very beginning, decluttering the house to actually advising us what to do and then also, um, the, videos. also the videos. Yeah. So I remember when the, the video came out about our old house, I was like, okay, wow. Our house. Yeah. <laughs> it's like really bringing up the best in the house. I want to buy this yes. house. <laughs> that was really how we yeah, felt. <laughs> So I think the videos were very nicely made. Yeah, yeah and then we, we yeah. actually asked to keep it. Yeah, it's actually very nice, thanks to the team. Yeah. Not just Nick, but the entire team, I think. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Home to me is where the family members come together. It can be anywhere. We did design this house so that they'll come home. Essentially, I think it's a place where we all feel comfortable and a place that we will want to come home to.